okay so configuring the apt let's skip this configuring apt package manager so what is the package manager the package manager will uh will be our source whenever we install some updates and upgrades into our softwares inside the operating system so it's it is very important to update and upgrade the software and our operating system uh, itself because uh, it protects us from uh, existing vulnerability okay so probably for example uh, today I am secure but tomorrow probably a hacker uh, found a vulnerability in some software or in some operating system that I am using and I didn't update it or up upgrade the software I am using then probably I can be attacked by that hacker because I am not installing the update or the upgrade so what is inside the update so mostly the update is the patches security patches for those vulnerabilities that is uh, being uh, used by the hackers so update is very important however some of the people uh, that is updating and upgrading is uh, very problematic when it comes to upgrading because uh, there's always a broken dependencies okay so what is this broken dependencies this broken dependencies is what we call the the errors uh, that is a uh, that we encounter in the installation of updates or upgrades and uh, whenever there's an error probably there will be some uh, not functioning software not functioning uh, graphics and uh, s some system in the in your uh, machine so it's very uh, tedious and uh, problematic but uh, we will tackle some uh, tips in order for you not to uh, encounter those kind of uh, software glitch or software errors so yeah so this is I think this is a uh, we have to wait here oh okay so in here in here uh, I prefer to uncheck this and check the gnome gnome so why gnome so that's my preference so gnome is uh, much uh, easier for me so I will continue it so while waiting I will also uh, talk about some tips in using Kali Linux and why we are using Kali Linux we are using Kali Linux because it already has 300 plus uh, hacking tools pre-installed in the machine so as a beginner it will help us save time because uh, you will not uh, you don't have to install uh, those uh, hacking tools that uh, we will use but if you are already in intermediate or advanced then I am uh, recommending you to just install the tools that you most often need in your hacking or in your testing a penetration testing because uh, you know it's like a bug pack you want <laughs> put everything inside a backpack 
just the things that you need in order to uh, have a much more uh, much smoother face in your uh, operating system so most of the professionals uh, did those kind of uh, trick they just uh, install what they need so most of them are just using a, an Ubuntu or a Debian or some other Linux distribution or some of them are using Windows or Mac and they're just installing what they need because uh, in this session I will tell you what are the tools that you just need okay and uh, so that you can have knowledge what to install and what not to install <laughs> So, yeah, that's a. Uh, and now it's uh, installing Grab Bootloader. So that's a long wait. So, the purpose of this Grab Bootloader is uh, it let us choose uh, in the opening of the operating system what to. Uh, open so what to open uh, what uh, OS uh, we want to uh, operate so in here install a grab boot order there must boot root. yes of course we need that if you don't uh, install the grab bootloader then probably you won't uh, end up in the Kali Linux uh, operating system that's why this is very important or you'll end up uh, manually installing it which is a uh, a much uh, tedious uh, process so continue then select your hard disk where you will install the grab bootloader and that's it let's wait 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 it will just be a quick then finishing the installation okay so the installation is complete so it is time to boot into your new system in here we need to remove the ISO okay so in the machine settings system we need to uncheck this okay so that uh, we will not go back to the installation continue but i think in this uh setup okay you just have to enter this you don't need to do that the unchecking of the disk but in other operating system like ubuntu or debian you need to do that or else it will install reinstall the software or the in operating system again and again So here we go, we have already the Kali Linux. Okay, so you have to enter this. I think... Okay, we have to enter this. Then write our password. And tada! You already have the Kali Linux that has a lot of hacking tools that we need. So, again, if uh, we are done with the hacking machine or the or our uh, inside our virtual machine, then uh, what? are the other things that uh, we need to uh, do of course you need an antivirus or anti-malware I'm using malware bytes premium because uh, 
Although you can also use uh, malware bytes uh, free because uh, the database of the free and the premium is the uh, same. Uh, the difference uh, between those two is just uh, the premium is real time. So it is very uh, useful even if it is just for free if you are using free version. Then if I'm not uh, communicating securely, I use Discord for my business which is also not really secure then i use whatsapp uh, they say it has an end-to-end -end encryption but uh, it is owned by facebook and facebook sells data to advertisers so i will not uh, trust it then telegram i use it for secure communication using their end-to-end -end, uh, encrypted uh, chats then uh, yeah i use spotify uh whenever i do some hacking or penetration testing to boost my hacking capabilities <laughs> or mood okay so uh if you learned something today uh please uh subscribe subscribe and like uh this video and share this to your friends so let's uh See you uh, again in our next video.